Hey guys, it's Psycho Horror here. Welcome to an episode of Career Mode. Uh, we have a big episode ahead of us, and we will see finally the late action drama I've been talking about for the past three episodes. I've been saying, guys, stay tuned, stay tuned. There's some crazy ass shit going on, and um, you will see that this episode. We go ahead and accept the transfer offer for Johnny Evans. Um, good player in real life, um, but uh, in this game, you know, absolutely useless. And uh, I have so many center backs. I'm just trying to get rid of the deadwood. And look at that. Rooney shocks Manchester United with transfer requests. So he handed in a transfer request on the 18th of August before the transfer window closes. He wants to leave. I was shocked. I didn't know what to think. I, I wanted to go ahead and offer him a new contract because uh, I was just in shock. I was like, Wayne Rooney, my best player, um, in terms of overall at least. And um, I couldn't offer him a new contract. Kato wanted to leave, and there was nothing I could do about it. But I was in shock. Like, I had no idea what to do. But um, there was nothing I could do. I mean, I had to let him go. And um, it, it, was just, it was just really disappointing, obviously, to see that. But, um, you know, again, there was nothing I could do except putting up for transfer and hope we could just get a good that we could get a good deal for him, but that obviously went, we that obviously meant we had to go into the transfer market on the search of a new striker. Now Lionel Messi, no, but Sergio Aguero really caught my eye. Twenty six million from Manchester City. He's only twenty five and he's ninety rated. I need someone quick. I need someone. Um, basically, I just need someone that can kind of fill Rooney's boots, that is as good as Rooney, that can be my main striker next to, um, that can be my uh, main striker next to uh, Van Persie, and uh, Rooney still plays his game against uh, Aston Villa, I think, um, no, Swansea, sorry, Swansea, and uh, obviously I had a few other strikers I was looking at there, but, you know, I needed someone as good as Aguero, you know, someone as good as Rooney, and that was Aguero. I really needed someone to step up to the plate, you know, since Rooney was leaving. But um, he he was playing this game either way, uh, because he's still such a great player. And here he releases Van Persie, who takes a good shot, great turn there. But um, I just can't manage to find the bottom of the net. Uh, by the way, if my voice sounds a little tired or like lazy, that's basically because I had a sleepover, uh, with a few of my mates the uh other other day here, and um, basically we. Well, I think I had about two hours of sleep, so um, obviously I'm going to sound a little bit tired. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, but I really wanted to get an episode up. There you guys can see that uh, Swansea had a great chance there to put, go up 1-0, but just don't manage to take it. And uh, again, in the 50th minute, we're into the second half. Swansea are putting on, piling on some pressure. Obviously, they're a great team in this game, uh, keeping possession and all that kind of shenanigans. But uh, I do manage to get the ball out of there. Uh, and clear it because uh, it was looking to be a tough situation and I uh, see space on the counter Rooney sees Nani's absolutely amazing run and Nani is through on goal Nani is released and look at that for a finish absolutely beautiful controlled finesse shot absolutely great finish into the uh, top right corner nothing the keeper could do about that that was FIFA 12-esque and um that put us up 1-0 in the 55th minute. Not, not exactly top corner, but uh, right in the right between, right next to the post. And uh, that meant that we were up 1-0 at Swansea. Uh, really wanted to get a goal back. Have a great chance here, but De Gea pulls off a vital save uh, to keep the scores 1-0. And um, I obviously had to make some substitutions, bring on some players. Uh, now that I do have such great players on the bench as well, such as Muniain and Royce, who both came on for Lucas and Rooney. And um, that meant that Swansea in the 82nd minute uh, were still piling on the pressure. You know, they wanted that point, but uh, and I was just kind of trying to hold on for dear life. Not to say that they were dominating it or anything, but uh, obviously, um, you know, they, they wanted that goal back. And I decided to go on defensive. Um, I don't want to concede any goals, and it worked. So we got the three points from that game. 1-0 against Swansea City, a very good team at home. Uh, you know, kind of a routine win, but uh, still a very important result. You know, all three points matter. And uh, three points is better than one point, and um, one point is better than zero points. Um, I'm not stating the obvious at all. Anyway, I inquired for Aguero, and they said he won't. 
they won't sell them to me for any price. And then I got this offer for Rooney. And you know, I wanted some big money for him. So I uh, counter offer 70 million, which might seem a little over the top, especially considering the fact that he's uh, leaving or like he wants to leave. And also this offer from Bayern. But I, uh, I decide to kind of negotiate and see if they kind of give me something back. So we can kind of commence into neg negotiations, that's the word, sorry. And um, you'll see how that turns out. And uh, here we have, um, the board says that they want Rooney to keep, uh, they want, what? They want to sell Rooney, uh, that it's bad for the club if he stays any longer. So, um, which makes sense. Um, here we have Real Madrid, they, uh, Sorry, I'm just yawning throughout this. Ad. Also, Wooten, someone I want to get rid of. Deadwood, never going to uh, really turn up for me. But here, 50 million Real Madrid offer for Rooney, which is a great improved offer. But I'm still being a little a little bit of a, uh, a greedy old twat. And uh, I decide to counter offer 65 million, which is, again, very hefty. But I hoped they would raise their offer just that much. And uh, they re-offer, and they do 57 million. And at this point... I decide to be a little bit cheeky. I really wanted to accept this, but uh, for some very odd reason, I decided to counter offer 62 million before I thought about it. And uh, so they raised their offer from 34 million to 57 million. And uh, I thought they would still raise a 5 million. Maybe they do. Uh, you guys will have to wait and see, but uh, it wasn't may maybe the greatest piece of negotiation I've done. Uh, seeming, seeing as how things turn out, but uh, not gonna reveal it anymore. As uh, West, we have a game against West Ham away, and uh, they get a good chance there. As uh, one of their players get injured, their Andy Horse Carroll, um, oh horse, uh, oh I'm sorry, that slipped. Um, <laughs> uh, is apparently still there. They must have bought him for the second season or something because he's supposed to be on loan, isn't he? Uh, but uh, anyway, they get a cross in and uh, go take a good chance with the uh, Pulls off a uh, comfortable save there. Uh, just before halftime here, from uh, from Percy gets fouled, uh, clear foul, which um, instigates the referee to book Collins and give us a free kick from a uh, from all right position, still quite far away. But you know, um, I do have a chance to do something from here, and uh, um, from Percy obviously has a great free kick. Steps up to take it, great shot, but just wide. Um, a little unlucky there, but uh, that was never really going in. It's just fun to test the keeper from those kind of ranges. It might even give you a corner every now and again. Uh, but we move on into the second half as Lucas does a great run. Look at this. Look at this skill. Oh, man. Look at that. Beautiful. What a shot by left foot. Hits the uh, crossbar, but Welbeck is there to finish it off. That is why I brought Lucas and not Ozil nor Mata. They can't do that, guys. And they don't have potential up to 90. That was just absolutely amazing by Lucas. And um, very unlucky with the finish there. And Welbeck does well to kind of tap it in. But it was all Lucas uh, with some amazing skill there um, to put the ball in the net. Sorry, guys, if you hear some background noise. I don't know what my dad is doing in the kitchen. Um, but, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, like I said, great player. We're 86 minutes in, and then this happens. And I was just so disappointed because they did really not deserve that goal. And um, somehow they managed to get it anyway, and I had to make some changes. I bring on Royce and Munia, and just like in the last game, and um, <laughs> I don't manage to pull it off. I have no idea what that sound was. I sound like a dying horse, um, or a dying Andy Carroll for that matter. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, we don't manage to pull back, and that gives us a 1-1 draw with West Ham. Away, obviously a tough fixture, but still a game where we should be looking to get three points. A little bit disappointed, if not very disappointed with that result there. Um, but uh, upwards and forwards, we're still early stages of the season. You know, anything can still happen. And uh, especially regarding the Rooney situation, um, which was very interesting. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't do so well. I was really thinking about that throughout the whole game. And uh, look at that, Real Madrid don't decide to match it. And they don't even counter offer something else. And at that point, I knew I had made a mistake because I I knew as a fact that that was the highest bid any club was going to give for Rooney. And, um, yeah, so uh, that kind of sucked. But uh, anyway, it's been like a horror here. This will draw us to the end of this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry if my voice has been a little low or tired, but like I've explained that. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed. That's always very, very much appreciated. 
Also, be, be sure to follow me on Twitter, guys. It's going to be a link in the description below. I haven't really talked about it, but I have a Twitter. Please follow it. I put up all my statuses there, like about when I'm going to upload about, and then tons of banter there. And if you want to play me on Black Ops 2 or FIFA or anything, just message me there. Um, but yeah, it's been Psycho Horak here. Follow me on Twitter, like I said. Please subscribe. Please like this video, and I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.